All right, day six. It's uh, up at around 6 a.m. and uh, spent about an hour talking to Leslie. It's tough because uh, she's going to bed right about the time I'm waking up. But and and uh, it's really interesting to see how interdependent we are. You know, after 32 years of marriage, uh, for example, she's working on. Um, she's actually sending out some uh, cards to some of our Patreon folks. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't, uh, if you're a Patreon person. Do send her her address so she can send one to you. And so she's getting addresses for me and stuff like that. And, and of course, I'm sleeping while she's trying to work. And then I'm trying to tile. But she's kind of the, the brains of the operation. So she uh, she picks the tiles and stuff. So I was kind of on hold. But not, not, thankfully, all day she worked on finding some stuff. And uh, so she's got some stuff I can pick up locally. I think it's going to be cool. But uh, unfortunately, you got to wake up a little earlier. It's a little, uh, little, little less cheery when it's dark and cold, eh? You know, you wake up and the sun comes up and you get your coffee and have your cereal and, and things start to brighten up. But day's beginning. Day six. All right, here we are just finishing up some breakfast. One of my favorite things when you're in this big empty chateau all alone working is putting on some great uh, Christmas music or some great worship music. And and this is kind of the, my favorite thing in life lately. Um, uh, my daughter... Uh, our daughter, Amy, who's 22, got a job leading worship in the church. It's, it's just a part-time position, and, and they don't pay her tons. But um, one of the beautiful things is uh, every week I get to listen to her uh, lead these beautiful songs. And I, and I think she sounds terrific. So I actually uploaded one of my songs to YouTube just so I could share it with some family members and stuff. I think I'm going to, I think I might post it. I know it's not what we normally do, but you're certainly welcome to watch it. This is it, by the way. I know I'm her dad. That doesn't sound great. And it's just—it's just like a little, uh, you know, maybe a few hundred uh, people at a satellite campus of, of a bigger church. And uh, so, you know, this is just an iPhone sitting on the on one of the front pews recording. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, count the tiles we need and count the tiles we have. I just did about 15, 15 of the old ones on the bottom and then probably another 30, 30 up top. Yeah, 10, 20, 30. And we have nine, nine of the old ones. In the tiling area, I have to bring my own light because uh, there's no light out here. And we will take a look and give a good count here, see what we got. Hopefully we got enough tiles. As we do, we have 50 tiles. Um, now this is, again, my wife is so smart. So, you know, again, we saw these blue ones and I thought, we thought, great, there's tiles. And then I went and looked and picked some of them out and realized, no, the ones upstairs are a white back and these are a little different shape and a little different color. But then she's like, why don't you dig further back? Because if these ones are here, probably the other ones are. And sure enough, I started to dig down and there's tons of old ones. So this is great news for us. That's what I'm talking about, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Totally correct. Fits perfectly. Okay, next job. Gotta chip out the tiles so we can get to the pipes so we can fix this uh, pipe that has a temporary fix. The debate is, do we, you can see these pipes are not quite, quite a bit closer together than most normal, uh, the standard kind of size, and so, you know, we have a fixture that fits it, but Leslie really doesn't like it. So we're wondering maybe we should go with the standard, standard width and we can change out the, the tabs. All right, so we got her, we got the tiles off and you can see the pipes really pleased that it doesn't go deeper into the house. I think we probably will spread these out to a standard width. You know, since we've already got it there, it's really no difference. Well, uh, we'll keep this tap around. I might need it someday, who knows, but uh, that doesn't look too hard. I'm tempted to do it. I do know how to solder. Uh, I'm no plumber, but I, I can solder. But if I can, if we can get Fabrice, he's a, he's so good. So we'll definitely take him if we can get him. But if we can't, I might just have to do it just so we can keep moving and uh, wish me luck.
Okay, here we are in the attic. You remember the incredible leaks we had recently? There's our big lights that have come down. Uh, remember, you remember this huge one here? Just pouring down. So again, I was gone for quite a while and come back to look in the pails. It's rained a lot too. Nothing, they nailed it. Way to go building roof guys. All the pails completely empty. Super encouraging. Now, probably most of you watching the video are going, uh, have you noticed you got some birds in here? Yes, we have noticed. Uh, but completely dry, so that's great. Obviously, we'd love the birds out. It's complicated. That goes up a long way, this ceiling. I love this ceiling. It goes way the heck up there. I don't know if you can see it, but... And there's a lot of light you can see there. So, there's ways for birds to get in for sure. One time when I first got here, I thought, oh, I'll just go seal these up with like that spray foam insulation. So I started walking around. I bought a couple of, you know, cans, started walking around. <laughs> you need like cartloads and cartloads. It's some crazy stuff. But uh, this room's good too. No, no water in the pails. There'll be some in this one. Yeah, there we go. But that, again, that's our, uh, that's our TV pipe that someone put through the roof that just leaks straight down to this every time but other than that really good all right it's the afternoon and it's cleared up that's great because it has been super cold today and also very rainy rainy and cold is not a great combination for the chateau I'm telling you that sun hits the windows and everybody's happy about life so i'm trying to figure out where that leak is i'm not gonna do that today i'm gonna do that in a couple days but i was thinking about it and it's not by the chimney it's um it's to the right of the turret and you see you look at those uh, windows and that is a bathroom that i'm working on with amy shower and then this one is the room that has the leak and it's just slightly to the left of that window so it's just maybe up between that peak and between the turret on the other side of the turret is probably where the water is getting in which, which would make sense because there's a huge channel for it to run down so i hate to go I, i'm probably gonna have to call the roofers because I think I'm just a bit too big of a dude to be walking up there. Like I don't want to, I don't want to break through the, the roof. I'm not going to fall because it's, it's located in a valley there. So you'd be totally safe. You're not going to fall off the roof, but if you go through, that would not be good. Not good for the house. Not good for me. Big, tall rooms. So probably I'm going to have to call the roofers. Unfortunately, when I get the drone going, I might take the drone up there too and see what we can see. All right. So off to Brico, Brico Marche, my favorite little spot to go get some tiling supplies. Here we are at the neighborhood handy hardware store, Mr. Ricolage. A little more expensive, but a good store, lots of stuff. And in case you're wondering about the price of gas, can you read that? Maybe you can't read that. 159, 171, 166 per liter. That's euros per liter. All right, here I am at Brico Marche, picking up some supplies. There's some tin set for the tile. That was about, that was almost 20, that was 30 bucks. And clamps since TSA took mine. Bless their hearts, nine dollars each. Really good caulking and a diamond uh, diamond tip blade for cutting through the ceramics and the porcelain. Yeah, and the wood that's going to be the base. We'll see how it all goes. All right, down in the workshop. Um, yeah, I got a plan for this. This uh, will make sense after you see it, but I'm uh, building a bit of a base so that we can extend out a couple inches. And uh, nice to have some saws. Ew. All right, so what you see here is the base I'm starting to build. So the big idea is we wanna go a little bigger and, uh, but we don't wanna tear it up because we really like the baseboard and we like the base. So what we're doing is we're just giving it like about a, uh, I guess a four millimeter bump out. We'll tile that. So uh, once we're done, it'll be tile uh, across the top and across the, the side. So it'll just look white basically. And it will just look like it's, it's a little bit outside. I think it's gonna be great. So the plan is I got a diamond, diamond, uh, diamond tipped uh, drill to cut into the masonry. I'll put a couple of screws in, but then I've got, I've got kind of a good all purpose, um, you know, really strong uh, adhesive. And so we'll put the adhesive across the back, uh, really thick. And also I've got about like one millimeter on the bottom sitting on that tile. So I have some uh, support on the bottom too. So we'll put some adhesive there. 
Even with just those three clamps, I can stand on that. It's actually surprisingly strong and really it won't be holding a lot of weight. It's just holding the walls. No one will likely stand on it. So uh, it should work. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it'll work. All right, sun is almost down. We're gonna call it a day. It's cold, but I think we got the base. I think that is gonna work. It gives us the extra four millimeters. And again, we'll tile that. So it'll just look like a little white pump out over the beautiful blue continue the baseboard across and it sits on top of the baseboard so from a distance should look about right so we'll see if it holds i think it will it seems like it's uh um it seems like it's pretty strong i wish i had a couple more clamps i wish tsa didn't take my clamps because uh a couple more clamps would have been good but this this will work i think and uh, we'll see all right well it's the end of the day beautiful end of the day look i don't know if you can see it see the mist the mist coming off off the grass. Oh man, I should take a picture of this. Super cool. Good day. Uh, kidney stones, not so bad. They've gotten better the last two days. So uh, big thanks to those of you that prayed and, and wrote nice notes on Facebook and stuff. And I got tons done. Almost almost finished the, uh, really close to, I'll finish tomorrow that Ryan and Jess's uh, shower, number room 16. So that's really exciting. And uh, I got a special supper just for all you, uh, all you guys that are commenting on YouTube. Special supper, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. But my, my goodness, isn't that nice? Beautiful. All right, end of the day. End of the day. Have a little dinner. And guess what I have for you guys on YouTube? Greens. <laughs> Never knew there were so many people that were militantly believers in greens. I actually like greens. So, and look at that, carrots, carrots and greens and a little pork chop. Okay, hope everybody's having a good day. I'll see you guys, it's been a good day and I'll see you tomorrow.